make sure we're going live we should be kicking it in let's check it out right on right on there we are hi everyone this is Chicho. welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream today today is may 22nd 2021 and we're doing a comic book live stream i almost i almost set up three comic book readings for this set of live streams and this is the first one that we're doing but i managed to get two in one we're going to do today and the second one we're going to do in four days i believe okay i believe we do it on wednesday maybe wednesday morning same time 10 a.m pdt okay i was trying to set up maybe three to do the full uh, finish off the readings that we have picked uh for this five that we have chosen uh but we're gonna end up with one uh being left over and um we're gonna do a poll and we've got three comic books uh that we're gonna read and uh, well we're gonna read uh, not in this stream we're gonna read one of them in the stream but we're gonna run a poll to see which one we're gonna read today lord of iron how are you doing morning chicho can't stick around long but wanted to say hi hello hello good morning to you lord of iron and thank you for popping in hope you're doing well uh it should be a good reading i'm not sure which one we're gonna read but whatever it is it's gonna be a good reading and no worries about sticking around the video will be up on all four platforms uh where we're sharing information because um, this one doesn't require for us to bypass sensor tubes sensors rage laugh out loud 306 chicho how are you doing good brother doing good or sister of course if you're raging uh we're gonna do a comic book reading so i'm happy about that it's weekend nice and sunny uh, it's not the rainy season anymore i think for i don't know how many comic book readings we did like at least like eight in a row or something like that um, we had rain so it was really nice actually reading comic books while we heard the rain drop fall down but uh springtime right now and it's beautiful nice and sunny so we're getting nice natural daylight coming in so it should be fun uh doing well looking forward to the reading it's very nice and chill considering the chaos that's going on in the world it's always good to, to sit back you know sit back lay back if you're like reading upside down which i really like uh lay back and read some comic books gravity of the situation how are you doing welcome welcome hey chicho did you watch the final season of uh yeah castlevania indeed i just finished it uh like three days ago four no i finished it uh about five days ago or so awesome series awesome series uh, i can't i'm not going to give any spoilers away for people but a very good series man it's super fun i hope they bring it back somehow did warren ellis warren ellis wrote it um and uh, i don't know i don't know the history behind it i don't know if he's he's got castlevania part two reemergence or something like that warren ellis tends to do that so uh, i hope he does i hope he does phony smile off topic question can you advise me as a new which cryptocurrency is the best to invest in any sources to learn from uh phony smile uh on our discord page we have a personal finance playlist uh not a playlist personal finance uh folder channel where there's a lot of people talking about different types of cryptos and stuff like that so if you want to find out what cryptos some of the people that are on our discord are um are talking about you can go there for me i'm not really investing in any cryptos um because i want crypto to be a currency i'm not interested in it for it to be a collectible on asset class so for me it's like water crypto should come and go like currency uh, i'm not hoarding currency you should always have a little bit of cash on hand uh liquid assets i guess and cash is as liquid as you can get right uh, so that'd be a good place to go to and there's a lot of different currencies around man a lot of different currencies around and bitcoin has bitcoin used to dominate the 
crypto world and it still does dominate the crypto world but most of the trades on cryptocurrencies basically at, at the beginning was 100 percent bitcoin and then it stabilized around 60 50 to 60 percent of all crypto assets were bitcoin now bitcoin is down to 42 percent or so so there's a lot of changes taking place you got to be on the ball with it right hey let's go void how are you doing gravity of the situation uh warren ellis got busted for sexual harassment so he isn't going to be part of anything with castlevania going for oh are you serious i didn't know that ah that's unfortunate uh, i don't know the situation i don't know the specifics so i can't really comment either way it's too bad he's a great writer uh i hope it gets sorted out for whoever uh is in the right right tacos con beans how are you doing okay for jesus <laughs> phony smile thank you my pleasure my pleasure zare how are you doing good morning good morning brother hope you're having a fantastic saturday hope you're having a fantastic saturday gang we got three comic books to choose from good afternoon choco milk Cho choco milk choco milk at tw 212 good afternoon good afternoon hope you're doing well three comic books 2020 1990 1955 horror superhero first appearance of uh, gambit and humor uh, ec comics okay phony smile the rain sound in the background creates a nice asmr effect as uh is your soothing voice yeah the rain sound i really like and my soothing voice is, is i didn't really realize i had a soothing voice until i started creating asmr people are like thanks for putting me to sleep i'm like you're welcome <laughs> crowded situation netflix is planning on doing further castlevania stuff but not with uh, alice unfortunately that's unfortunate he did amazing writing it was fantastic writing uh but it's good to hear that they're planning on doing uh continuing the castlevania uh franchise i'm very happy about it right is there anybody watched that snyder zombie movie yesterday no i didn't even know about it I, I, what's it called was it uh, based on a comic book uh, series or a mini? Void to Allah God. Did I got banned from the art channel on Discord? I can't see it anymore. Oh, I don't think so, Void. Posted a few airsoft paintball pictures and now I can't find the art channel. I apologize if that's the uh, reason. I don't think so. I saw your pics with the crosshairs as well. <laughs> and uh, sure, there's collectible uh market for firearms as well and they are beautiful there there's some amazing uh, firearms that uh, look beautiful you know the tech wise engineering wise they're phenomenal and design wise they're beautiful right it's on netflix oh i didn't know about that uh, sorry is it animation or is it uh live action I hope not void uh, and we've had a couple two or three months that used to ban people they're sort of gone so uh, we don't really as far as I know no one's been banned oh how are you doing sup chicho how's life hope you're having a fantastic Saturday morning it's fun here we have our neighbors uh, that are going to be throwing a party there they built a last few week or so they built a tiki bar outside <laughs> and, and they're having people over to have a tiki bar party so there's going to be a fair bit of drinking going on probably around starting around 12 o'clock one o'clock when we finish the live stream so i might actually go join them i haven't i haven't been drinking too much as you can tell i haven't been having any liqueurs around so i don't think i've touched alcohol for the, at least like a month or so now um so i might go join them for a tiki bar party <laughs> just say salutations <laughs> after comic book reading gang should we should i do uh we're gonna give it another minute or so uh there you go i might go there we're in the same complex same same building so it's i open my door they're right outside <laughs> so <laughs> i'll make myself a little drink and 
go say salutations. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. It could. They're the crowd is much younger than I am, um, but they're good people. They're very good people. We get along fantastic. The comics are uh, are the same or different. Excuse my ignorance. The so this is the the comics. Uh, no, these are different comic books. I've never had a sip of alcohol. Planning to do it on my midlife crisis. <laughs> Go slow. Go slow. People who never drink, you can you can have drinks, and it, you you'll know it's strong, right? You can feel the. Uh, it's pretty strong alcohol. Sometimes they make the drinks that you can't even taste the alcohol, and people drink over drink, right? When you over drink, you pay the price. So sipping is key over an extended period of time. As for the comic books, gang, let me tell you what we got here. And we're gonna run a poll. Uh, I'm not sure if Cheryl's gonna be making it here today because she's the one that usually runs our poll. If not, I'm gonna run the poll because I'm pretty sure Elder God is on mobile. Okay. So the choices we have for today's reading and we've talked about this in uh, or these books in the last couple of uh, live streams that we did because we started off with five we're down to three right first one is i walk with monsters it came out in 2020 okay last year and it's sort of a horror comic book and the writer is from the united states the artist um is from the uk and the colorist the uh, Da, 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 da. It, no sorry the artist uh, is sorry the writer is from the uk his name is i got my notes here paul cornell okay the artist is from new jersey sally cantarino okay and Dur durbla kelly the inker and colorist is from ireland so sort of an international uh thing S cheryl is pr uh, preparing an event she might be late and I'm on a mobile. I'll do. I'll run the poll, Elder God. It's all good. I'll uh, figure out how to run it. Okay. I looked at it a long time ago to do it. So this is a horror series that came out in 2020. This next book that we have is Uncanny X Men 266. This is the first full appearance of Gambit. It's a pretty key book. Okay. And the writer for this is Chris Claremont. Came out in 1990. Chris Claremont. Pencils is my by Mike Collins, inks by Joe Robinson. Okay, the cover is by Andy uh, Kubert. Okay, and colors is by Brad Van Katta. Okay, very key book in the X Men universe, obviously. Okay, and that's Storm right there. And the third book that we have is impact comics from ec comics from 1955 it's the second issue of uh the impact series that came out under the comics code authority so this is early silver age comics okay 1955 is when golden age is the boundary between golden age and silver age right so golden age silver age late golden age early silver age impact comics and the people that worked on this are some of the giants in the industry right we got al uh feldstein jack davis did the cover for this and this cover is absolutely brilliant i love this cover one of my favorite covers right reed crandall worked on this mary severn worked on this um jack davis as i mentioned jack came and worked on this uh graham ingles worked on this carl wessler has worked on this and ec comics this company right here everything they put out as collectible is sought after ec comics entertaining comics or entertainment comics okay so uh, very much sought after uh, publisher from the golden age of comics and the prices for these books have gone through the roof this one is on the cheaper side of ec comics uh the ec comics the golden age pre-comic code authority the prices uh the horror the sci-fi stuff they're fetching hundreds if not thousands of dollars if they're in really good condition okay 
void hook whoa i've seen that ec logo so many times never realized it was comics yeah 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 let's see if you can focus in the mylar i got this in mylar right awesome awesome and this one is comic code authority this one came out approving the comic code thing right so this one is generic it started coming out in 1955 and it went all the way to i think dc comics was the last one that decided not to follow the comic code authority which is crazy and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on sensor two i want to make my own comic but i can't draw <laughs> welcome to the club brother <laughs> i'm gonna see if i can run a poll here let's see if i can do a poll uh how do i run a poll da, da, da. oh man i should have looked this up uh poll let me see if i can do a poll i think it's this poll Boop. poll okay responses minimum comic book reading i don't know what number this is comic book reading reading i'm gonna do this reading so our first one is going to be walk with monsters walk with months monsters our next one is x-men x-men number 266 and this is walk with monsters number one number one and our last one is impact number number three in packed number three okay and i gotta set the time on this gang so let me see uh allow additional votes do, 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 do. two minutes two minutes um no no additional votes and we can start the poll anytime are you guys ready i can't see the chat now because i got the poll going on how do i da, 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 da. okay gang we're gonna start the poll hopefully no one's saying oh wait 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 I'm gonna give it actually you know what I'm gonna give it three minutes just in case uh, people roll in because we're running this poll pretty fast so we're gonna start the poll again three minutes start poll Doodoop. poll is running I'm voting it so quick Chicho first poll everyone remember this moment <laughs> yeah this is where, this is our, my first poll putting together I'm voting it quick voting and smoke break okay awesome the polls going gang what do we got we got three votes for x-men two votes for i walk with monsters and impact is no votes yet okay i'm not gonna i'm gonna wait i'm gonna try to be a tiebreaker if there's gonna be a tie right impact gets one vote okay so right now we got three votes for x-men 266 first full appearance of gambit two votes for i walk with monsters and one vote for impact we got three vote votes for i walk with monsters four and four uh, I walk with monsters and impact gets two votes goes up a little bit right so we got x-men goes up to five votes four votes for I walk with monsters two votes for impact impact for me elder god says elder god goes with the oldest first right so we're about a minute in two minutes left okay I'll be smoking you go have a nice smoke uh, void uh, hopefully you'll enjoy the reading it should be nice and chill poll booth are rigged poll booths are rigged not this one not this one this is open right uh we're counting the votes as they come in we're not shutting down the votes and all of a sudden votes appear for one of these comics to read right it's a close one it's a close one we got six votes for x-men 266 first full appearance of gambit five votes for i walk with monsters wow 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 info info how are you doing info sphere <laughs> hope you're doing well matt ps hope you're doing well seven votes for x-men 266 look at this there's two vote difference between x-men and i walk with monsters and impact's got two votes going on dead man voting <laughs> says i demand the votes to be submitted at 2 a.m <laughs> and i think there's a water water damage somewhere here isn't there what's going on what's going on 
So we got seven votes for X-Men, five votes for I Walk With Monsters, and two votes for Impact. We got about 45 seconds left, gang. So if there's any votes you want to cast, you cast them. I'm not sure how many people we got on the stream right now. It's a nice chill stream for the morning. Nice, nice. We got 25 people and we got how many? Oh, look at this. Nine votes for, <laughs> got distracted. Nine votes for X-Men 266. Six votes for I Walk With Monsters. We've got about 30 seconds left back. Uh, gang, RX, how are you doing? Nine votes for X-Men 266. Looks like Gambit is going to be it. Full, first full appearance of Gambit with Chris, Chris Claremont writing it. People want X-Men. Ten votes for x-men 266 and x-men takes it i'm actually surprised i thought x-men 266 the first appearance of gambit was going to be the first pick first comic book we were going to read out of the five selections that we had previously okay i'm surprised it wasn't awesome awesome and this book gang uh is in really good shape <laughs> and, I, and i bought just so you know i bought these off the racks when they first came out and i paid you know dollar 25 for them at the time i was getting like 20 or 30 percent discount from a comic book store at the time you you back in the day you used to be able to get discounts right depending on how many comics you bought and how connected you were and stuff and you could have bought this on the cheap for a while now this comic book is pretty expensive okay 18 to 25 good turnout at the polls nice nice yeah that's right we had 18 18 people show up nice yes came back and won his <laughs> voice cast your vote eh? <laughs> he's from louisiana he's from louisiana i can't do the cajun accent gang so i'm just gonna read it as is and i have a hard time reading gambit gambit talk because he uses words like whatever when i i, I don't even know i've never even read gambit out loud i can when i read it i don't read out loud i just read it in my mind right so it makes sense in my mind when i'm reading it so we'll see what it goes when i'm reading this thing out loud cute alligator stop <laughs> fun isn't cajun like quebec french canadian uh yeah to a certain degree but i can't speak french so i'm done for right even though i took it in school i just cheated all the way through school to get my uh you know what i needed to get uh for them to say yes you've studied french thank you very much fenetra <laughs> window <laughs> did you know they wanted to cast a channing tatum for gambit no channing tatum channing tatum that, he rings a bell but i can't put the face to it i think it got scrapped oh channing tatum i forget which guy he is his name's familiar though gang should we begin our reading we're about 23 minutes in okay i'm gonna turn off notifications okay. let me go down here and i forgot to do my intro but here's the intro just speedy gonzalez stuff he does some comedy movies does he let's get it let's get it yes yes france colonized north america it, they did there's lots of uh, uh francophones uh, in, in Canada and in the US I don't know if you call them francophones in Louisiana and whatnot but gang if you want to know what this is about I am on patreon we are live streaming on twitch I do announce these live streams on mines VK gab and parlor videos that uh, live streams where we don't have any visuals which we do today uh, we do upload the audio as a podcast to SoundCloud and we will be uploading this live stream this reading to youtube bitchute rumble and odyssey and for those of you that are supporting this work on any of those platforms all of those platforms gang thank you very much for the support it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this and mods on twitch elder god how are you doing thank you for being here and taking care of business let me take these guys down and I'm gonna take down the notifications. I'm gonna take down the chat. Okay. Boop. Da, 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 da. Bum, bum. Chat's going down or notifications going down. Well, Channing Tatum always was in the in the vow. To be honest, Quebec is so different from France. So different from France. So different from France. Sensor two. Sensor two. I'm gonna turn off the chat box, gang. Boop. 
I'm gonna take down this video let me find the click and I'm gonna take it down and I'll see you guys after the reading hi everyone this is Chicho welcome to my channel and welcome to another comic book reading and we're reading a pretty important book okay it's one of the key books from the modern age of comics it's x-men number 266 first full appearance of gambit okay and this comic book the cover art is done by andy kubert kubert okay i'm not sure how you were supposed to pronounce that and the story script is written by the great great chris claremont the pencils is by mike collins inks by joe rubinstein colors by brad vanketa letters by pat broso and tom or okay i'm sorry if i'm brutalizing the names okay and this is considered to be the first full appearance of gambit and gambit's first appearance and it's considered to be a cameo occurred in uncanny x-men annual number 14 which appeared a month i believe okay before this issue came out okay so that issue came out about a month before this one came out i believe if i'm not mistaken okay so let's take this out of the mylar bag that it's in and i put it in mylar because it is on um, the more expensive side uh, and it is a very good copy or let me use comic book terminology it should be in near mint condition the tape really sticks to the mylar okay let's get rid of the tape here and this book came out in 1990 and this is Chris Claremont's run on X-Men is considered to be one of the greatest runs in comic books, um, comic book history, really. So let's take a look at the cover of this. See what kind of grade this would be in. This would be definitely in near mint condition. There are no dings. You can check out, run your finger on the cover and see if there's any dings. And there's no dings on the spine here. And let me show you. very sharp edges very nice book this would be great at as far as right now that we're seeing based just on the cover as a 9.4 easy peasy right and here's the spine could possibly get a higher grade at 9.6 oh there's a little bit of see that right there but you can't feel it right And I picked up this book at cover price, basically, if not $2, less than $2. And what does the cover say? On sale twice a month. They were really pushing X-Men back in the 90s, late 80s or 80s and 90s. Okay. Gambit looks mean. He's been. I like Gambit. Smart guy smart guy loner lone wolf really enter the mutant called gambit right. and x-men annual number 14 for the longest time you could have got it very very cheap right now x-men number 14 is selling for mint price very expensive the back cover again no dings that i can feel and 
this is unread so we're reading a mint copy really three to four hundred dollar depending on the grade right. that's what elder god is mentioning on the chat and it must be done we must read oh what's that yeah no that's nothing it's just a the line from let's see if you can see it it's it's just a line from the front cover going in right so we're not gonna bother flipping through this we're just gonna read this okay gang beautiful beautiful cover Andy Andy pencils and inks by Andy Kubert Kubert let's crack this open we'll try to be careful I mean look at this thing <laughs> this is like it hasn't been read we're reading a beautiful unread copy of uh, x-men 266 fantastic we're gonna read the fine print on this gang we're gonna read the fine print first okay so let's see if we're gonna read it the uncanny x-men volume 1 number 266 late august 1990 issn number 02 or is that a q 74-5372 published by marvel comics james e galton president stan lee publisher Michael Hudson, Group Vice President, Publishing Office of a Publication. I don't know what that is. It's 387 Park Avenue South, New York, New York, 10016, second class postage paid at New York. Uh, New York and at additional mailing offices published monthly except bi-monthly july august and september copyright 1990 by marvel entertainment group incorporated all rights reserved da -da -da -da. what else does that say all rights reserved price one dollar per copy in the u.s and dollar 25 in canada subscription rate for 12 issues u.s 12 dollars canada 17 dollars and foreign 24 dollars u.s I'm assuming this is all US printed in the USA no similarity between any of the names characters persons and or institutions in this magazine with those of any living or dead person or institution is intended and any such similarity which may exist is purely coincidental the periodical may not be sold except by authorized dealers and is sold subject to the conditions that that something shall not be sold that it shall not be sold or distributed with any part of the cover or markings removed nor is a mutilated nor in a mutilated condition the uncanny x-men including our all prominent characters featured in this issue and the distinctive likeliness thereof are trademark of marvel entertainment group incorporated postmaster sec send address changes to the uncanny x-men co marvel comics subscription department 387 Park Avenue South New York New York 10016 is that what it was the postal code 10016 yeah it's up top there as well cool Rendell how are you doing just late enough to not see the oh Rendell you want to see the cover here's the cover I'm just checking the chat gang this is a beautiful beautiful comic this would be minimum nine points nine point four if you're a hard ass marker nine point six for most people right 
And if you're being generous, maybe give it a 9.8. Check this out. Awesome. Let's look at who the people are. Chris Claremont, writer. Mike Collins, penciler. Joseph Rubenstein, inker. Uh, Bros Broso and Orozowski letters. Brad Van Kata, colorist. Bob Harris, editor. Tom DeFalco, editor in chief. And Tom DeFalco did a fantastic job being editor in chief, as far as I know, anyway. Okay. Stan Lee presents. Now, Stan Lee didn't have anything to do with creating Gambit, but Stan Lee presents <laughs> Gambit out of the frying pan. Let's read some of this and see what's going on with this issue. Let me adjust this. That's a beautiful cover. Seriously, it's a phenomenal cover. Right? Beautiful. There should be Storm there as well. Starring Storm, leader of the Uncanny X-Men, now mysteriously trapped in the body of a child. Oh, you want to, someone wants to check out this. We should check this out too. What is this one? Fleer Football's Rookie Sensation. Rookie of the Year, 1990. I'm not a sports car collector, so I don't know who these are. This is like the cover is because it's got a thing. Don Malowski, Barry something, Truman Thomas, Bernie Kosar. I don't know. I know cards are back as being major collectibles too. Cool. Football. Barry Sanders, someone's saying. Don Marino. My pleasure, Elzok. <laughs> he wanted to see the cards. So check this out. Let's see what this is about. So Gambit, out of the frying pan. Starring Storm, leader of the Uncanny X-Men now now mysteriously trapped in a body of a child a mississippi ri river front mansion on the outskirts of cairo illinois wow. who are these guys so that's storm right there trapped in a child's body and who's that is that gab no Who are these guys? They look mean. Beautiful artwork. It's got to be camping at the bottom. Let's see what the dialogue is. Do you like my pets, Aurora? Or would you prefer to be called Storm? Hmm. We're not sure who's talking right now. Of Christendom Hounds. It's an amazing, it isn't it amazing how much even the most ordinary and ba banal of people can change. When I summon forth the shadow in their souls i wonder what form you yours will take my young wind rider when i do the same to you
by all means resist. Aurora is a serious fighter. Right. So here's the full page. Wow, beautiful. Right. Who's this guy? I enjoy a good show. The guy says. It will change nothing. Aurora is seriously resisting. It's trying to run away. Flesh and spirit, now and forever, in this world and any other. belong to me he says is that it all done so soon I'm disappointed child I expected better oh well such is life bring her to me let's get this over with once and for all oh that person on the ground wasn't gambit someone else looks like Aha, now that's more like it. Like the Aurora, I remember. Finally using your mutant powers, eh, girl? For what it's worth, Aurora thinks. This was no more than a flash of light. It will not do these human beasts even a little harm. Aurora thinks. But it will buy me a moment to try to break free of the Shadow King's grip. So this is the Shadow King. Very cool. Shadow King, this guy right there, he's one of the very powerful uh, evil mutants in uh, the X-Men universe, Marvel universe. Aurora goes through the door, a bathroom blessed mother i have seen smaller houses where are the windows she thinks i have to get out who am i fooling as if the evil one will let me all he has to do is reach out with his thoughts and seize my mind as he did those others Speaking of whom, here they come. <sighs> Towel in the fountain. Oh, she gets the towel wet. Then across the face of the first through the door. Whack. They do not think well, these hounds. Make them angry. push and poke and prod them into a frenzy haha <laughs> she threw the towel on the guy's face that makes them predictable Better the rage they feel, the ever increasing pace of our battle. Nice. Should make it harder for the evil one, evil one, to mentally tell what's what is happening. Problem is one mistake on my part. Water jet 
is not very forceful. Can I add a gust of wind to send this hound on its way? Yes, she thinks. Must be careful of their spikes. This hound seems to be a female. Up close, they could do serious injury, she thinks. Oh, she's thought it. Oh. The one that rammed the shower. I thought he was unconscious. Get him off me. Ouch. Spike into my palm. Cannot worry about that. Hurts. Shadow King's coming in. Later, the Shadow King is in the doorway. Oh, nice. She threw him right at the Shadow King. Perfect. Boom. Ow. Tato Games Black Manta Oh, the Shadow King Even my little wind should prove sufficient to billow the drapes and bed cloths behind me. <laughs> Entangling any who try to follow. She's quick, Aurora. Enough, Shadow King says. Isn't fun anymore, kiddo. Game's over. You lose. Oh, there's a Shadow King's arm. Psychic blast. Look at that. Grabs her. Shadow King, so powerful. So powerful. I wanted to take my time with this. I've waited it a human generation for the pleasure. But you're one tough little sweetheart. Better, better I think, to err on the side of discretion. You're no match for me, girl. All you're doing is causing yourself needless agony. Give it up, he says. Taking over Roar's mind. Never, she says. Lightning. Very nice, Aurora. Skip the advertisements, gang. Let's stick to the story. Oh, look at this page. Beautiful. Look at the detail here. Busy page. Let's check out what's going on. Backlash. Losing my balance. Derailing my winds. Can't focus. Thoughts. Flies over the railing, the balcony. Let's check it out. Now ah, it's falling. Where are they to summon them? Why won't they save me? She's thinking. 
Looks like there's a pond right below her. Lucky Aurora. Splash. Skiff, scuff, skiff, scuff. Is he dead? Please, oh please. I hit him with all I had. Let it be so, she thinks. Skiff, scuff, skiff, scuff. Fantasy, a dream, stories are. The Shadow King can never die. Someone coming. Skiff, scuff, skiff, scuff. Is it him? Oh, look at that. Who's coming? Who's coming? I'm betting that's Gambit right there. Possibly. Let's check it out. Rise and shine, oh my most dreaded lord and master. There are fit occasions for the exercise of your biting wit, Dr. Shin. This isn't one of them. I am but as you made me, she says. Same as you did these hounds. Save where you pulled the beast from their souls. You trapped the wicked in mine. Can't hurt me any more than that. Besides, Tempting fate with you is fun, she says. Teach me. I suppose to, f uh, I suppose to, f I suppose to follow in Baron Frankenstein's footsteps. Storm hit me hard, he says. You need a hospital. Lies hardly he's fixing himself look at that a shame my mutant powers can't restore my clothes as easily as my flesh still in millionaires household I'm sure I'll find something suitable to replace them since the millionaire is now one of your hounds she says He's sure not to mind. He's sh he's sure not to mind. Leon, this frog, or this fog. Storm's doing, I suppose, to cover her tracks. Oh, so there's a fog being rolled in by storm. Cool. Interesting. My telepathy seems unable to lock onto her psyche some form of mental interference won't save her though from my hounds one way or another regardless of what is what it takes or how long aurora will be mine he says Elsewhere and far too close for comfort. Orphan maker, what is the matter with you? Have you gone deaf? If you've turned off all your oral. Oral recep receptors, Peter, I'll be so cross. All these arms sounding, and you didn't hear a thing. Out of the monitor chair this instant. I'm sorry, Nanny, he says. Be quiet. I haven't time for your sorries right now, you wretched boy. Our scanners detect 
detected storm once more she must be act actively using her elemental abilities why didn't you lock in in the lo locator why didn't you lock in the locator to pinpoint her pos position must i do everything the robot says who is this who is this i thought you were responsible peter that i could trust you with really important tasks it's her fault he says ever since you found storm things started to started going bad he's on his knees i say you can too late the pattern is gone the robot guy says i guess his name is mother or her name is mother but that other alongside hers merciful heavens no it can't be a mutant signature i haven't seen for years and prayed never to see again i thought hoped prayed he was dead more fool i how can the devil incarnate die poor dear sweet innocent aurora in the clutches of that monster peter have you any notion of what your jealousy your negligence has done no and i don't care neither i hope it's really awful because it's what she deserves for ruining our lives he says This is, I guess, Orphan Maker, right? Let's see what the story is here. Don't say that, even if you mean it. The Shadow King is the most awful and absolute evil. If he gets his hands on Storm. Oh, we know this. Or you for that matter he'll twist her up inside and out transform her into a reflection of himself and then turn her loose to do his bidding nanny help she's attacking me ah just the projection eh? take a look let's see the panels first look at that let's see what the text says if you're lucky peter the shadow king's hounds will kill you when they catch you she's got claws get her me otherwise you may end up r running by their side as part of his unholy pact stop being such a silly <laughs> i can't have his point he's trying to lash out it's only a holographic projection not even the slightest bit real it can't do you any harm he says but storm can that's the future my bold brave boy for her and many many others the mansion he has not said a word since pulling me from the pool and a 
along with him down to his this vault there's gambits let's take a look who is he easier by far to tell what he does here same as me i bet a thief the owner of this house had those paintings stolen Aurora's thinking to add to his private collection I meant to take them back and return them where they rightfully belong All along though, it was a trap set by the Shadow King for me. This other thief is totally absolved in his work. Absorbed in his work. He has forgotten about me. Look at that. Gamut is just stealing the paintings. focused look at that good by the time he notices i want to be attenders sherry sherry watch the door sherry that's what he says a lot hound ah oh, wow whap knocks Aurora over Gambit knew there was one of the hounds behind the door do us both a favor hey pup pup stay away from the girl other ideas eh gonna carry the kid kidling back to your boss claim a pat on la tête and an extra uh, ration of yummies figured as much gambit says oh he's best there goes gambit can let you do that and faster than the eye can follow gambit's kinetic energies kick in right and throwing spike flips up out of his sleeve into his hand same motion carries his arm back then forward Whap. ordinary piece of metal when it leaves his hand something far more when it strikes the wall with the force of a cannon shell boom scram nice explosion <laughs> and aurora falls into his arms haven't seen hasn't been your night eh sherry or maybe it is it has considering how often i'm here to rescue you I'm called Storm, Aurora says. Do Don need you? Do fine enough on my own. Don't need you. Do fine enough on my own, Aurora says. Yeah, right. Tell me another. I'm Gambit, Stormy, and I don't believe in believe a word. some great choice you leave me a fortune in classical art painstakingly or you gambit says painting paintings will keep us thieves we have to stick together gambit says so he's scooting out of there 
sides i'm intrigued if you're who i think you are i'd like to find out yeah but says now nah, look at this how you got so good so young appearances are deceiving in aurora's case she is not altogether what she seems <coughs> but that my friend is none of your affair about the cough gang who is this girl I don't think I know her or I don't remember her. look at the hounds <clears throat> oh what is this ah oh, we've read one of these before turbo graphics We'll skip it. Okay. <clears throat> Let's continue with the story. <clears throat> right you are, Sherry. Foof drops Aurora. Just a wandering, working stiff is all. Same as any other plying my trade hustling up the big score don't need to be told just step away stepped way out of my league no problem no offense practical man knows his limitations gambit says <laughs> minds his own business realizes when the time comes to cut his losses want the girl yours with my compliments take the art too gambit says he talks and talks and they listen almost as though they cannot help themselves as he binds them with his web of words even the hounds are charmed <laughs> wait one hound below two more here there is where is the last of the pack oh there's one right there and their master ah oh, look at this very snappy pattern my young friend i dare say given a decent opportunity arc shadow kings is zap gampa's mind You might seduce even me, Shadow King says. Once you've un undergone a proper, albeit painful, reorientation, that's a talent I can put to some considerable use, Shadow King says. Look at that. Nailed Gambit. Gambit's on the ground. Aurora, leave him alone. Another lightning bolt? No, nothing happened. Stupid, stupid power, always quitting on me when I need need it most. Oh, pity for you, Aurora. Blessing for me, Shadow King says. one i do not intend to let pass by some sort of mental zap frying the sherry's brain gambit's picking up uh, something from the table right same as he tried with mine Aye. he zaps aurora he's in for a rude awakening there goes gambit look at that putting all that energy 
inside that plate I think let's see let's see her dir diversion saved me look at that only fitting I returned the favor boom So the lad's more than just another pretty face. His abilities have an active, aggressive dimension as well. You shouldn't have missed, boy. With me and mine, there's no second shot. Oh, the second floor is collapsing. Look at that. Or where we're standing. Poor darling. All this excitement seems to have taken its toll. Gambit's on the ground exhausted oh look at that too weak to stand much less fight such a shame so so many pretty words you spoke she says look at that. but far worse the hints dropped Pro promises made without words that wasn't nice i enjoy temptation now more than ever i dream i dream dreamed but i wouldn't wouldn't be truffled with but i won't be truffled with the hearth suit billowing into the room storm's doing has to be lost her in the shuffle where is she gone find her fools before cough 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 barely able to breathe she says ah oh, the soot's coming in from the the chimney right look at that so she's sucking the air in cough gah Stay close, my, my gambit. She'll try Ulrich to get him. Cough. Ah, oh, look at that. Is that Storm's arm reaching in to grab Gambit? Comic books being sold. Look at that. Yeah, that was. Take a look, take a look. This is getting to be a habit. I've lost track, Sherry. Who who rescues who next? Gambit says. Do not make fun. We are far, far from safe or free, she says. My wind powers will not hold that soot cloud for very long. Time enough to reach my car, maybe. Only if it is, it is parked right outside the front door, Aurora says. Off the state. Not a hope then, she says. The grounds are too vast. I have enough. I have an alternative, Aurora says. But we need to te reach the roof. The last hound and the evil one himself bar the way. Not for long, Gambit says brings out one of his spikes sayonara suckers Bill. happy landing hopefully in hades <laughs> look at that crumbling no sign of him think we got lucky stormy do not call me that please aurora says and do you wish to hang about to make certain she asks better idea you know sherry you don't talk like any kid i ever heard 
I talk, oh, I talk, Aurora says. What are you waiting for? Relax, there's time, trust me, Gambit says. Are you, you are mad. Same as you, Sherry, Aurora, <laughs> Gambit replies. Gives folks like you, like us, our major edge. Nine, one, one, he dials. What? Hello, police? Remember that big Boston Museum heist? I know where you can find the loot, Gambit says. Uh -huh. If we can't steal the stuff, the least we can do is make sure the slob who stole them in the first place never gets a chance to enjoy them. So where do you go from here? Gambit asks. Hold on to me for dear life, Aurora says. Good thing you're so young. I might start to get ideas. Oh, Gambit. Parachute, cute. Not likely to, to be much help down here, Gambit says. Just goes to show you do not know everything. Whoa, very nice, Stormy. Ha uh -huh. The way you get the wind to do whatever you want very nice indeed how come it doesn't always work eh because some people won't shut up or our replies and let me focus the focus the concentration i need to prevent that from happening Look at that. flying away A while later, some distance away, saw cop cars coming as we lifted off. Look at that, this is that like a plane graveyard. What is that? Saw cops coming as we lifted off. Winds dying were floating down just like a shoot supposed to. So I figure it's okay to chat, yes? TV trucks too, Sherry should be quite a uh, folk uh, quite a media circus shame to miss it gambit says keep the bad guys bad bad guys off our tra trail for the immediate nice neighborhood this where you call home stormy gambit asks look at that it's like a plain graveyard I told you, name fits, Gambit says. Hands loose, kidling, I get ya. Grass storm. I need no help, especially from the likes of you, Aurora says. Uh huh. She grabbed his little spike. Only try to be. A gentleman, Gambit says. I could see the strain you were under. Thought I'd give you a gentler landing is all. Say, Sherry, after all we've been through, least I've earned the benefit of the doubt, Gambit says. Why else do you think I took you off that roof? I had plenty of time to leave without you, Aurora says. From here, Gambit, we start fresh. Suits me, he says. Trouble is, I get the feeling it won't be quite so easy to walk away clean from this caper as you make out no it will not the evil one neither forgets nor forgives she says walking away evil one that sounds a bit ripe he have a name gambit asks 
as many as he has faces, most often calling himself the Shadow King. To me, though, evil one is what fits him best. He makes slaves of people, enchanting their minds and souls. Dr. Shin is such a, is such a one. She was a kind, decent woman before the lady dr shin he has a special hatred for me aurora says now he has a sense of where i am he will move heaven and earth to track me down can he gambit asks the hounds have tasted my blood and the shadow king my thoughts it take i take it i take it that's a yes gambit asks and if they catch you what will they do then whatever he pleases aurora says to me to all who stand in my by my side she says ah oh, look at this where are we going now Washington DC a slightly speedy a seedy townhouse on some federal land hard by Rock Creek Park nice chill out place what about serious security what does that say Dr. Valens Kopia, Presidential National Security Advisor for Superhuman Affairs. Cool. Irene. Oh, there's four ladies there. Whose hand is that? Whose hand is that? It was mystic mystique this is mystique very cool very cool enter mystique clutch To be opened by death to be open uh, in the event of my death that's what the note says right on time Val precisely as expected gasp oh who's waiting who's waiting I'm sorry mystique I have to do this I understand the Shadow King wants me dead and when he commands his slaves must obey how do you know what did you mean Sh shape changer precisely as expected one of the curses of being a precog and make no mistake destiny as destiny was one of the best has to be the awareness of your own mortality of sensing in all the possibility possible alternatives all the moments and manners of your own death yet destiny did nothing to prevent it she willingly chose and embraced her fate i suppose i can do no less because that knowledge was no bar to her while still alive foreseeing what lay ahead for those she loved including the moment val cooper 
when you come to kill me. Blam. Check this out. What's coming next? Next. Nanny into the fire. So Nanny is the robot uh, that we saw in the other page, the two pager. Cool, cool, cool. Advanced D and D. Look at that. Nice story. Cool to see early. Uh, Gambit, right? The first f serious full appearance of Gambit. And the character hasn't changed much. It's very much uh, true. The present uh, character of Gambit. Very much true to the original character. Arachnophobia. This is a fun movie. Opens July 20th at theaters everywhere. Cool. I read these a long time ago. I can't remember what the story goes to. Yeah, very much stay true. I'm curious to see what the prices on these things were. Check this out. Oh my God, look at the price tag on here. Look at this. Look at that. Akira, number one to three, first prints, $5. Oh wow, if you could only go back and buy those comic books. Great story, yeah, great story. Avengers, Batman 433, Daredevil, Excalibur number one, 750. Man, I wish I could go back and buy those Akira's one to three first prints. Oh, what Moon Knight? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one, fifth print, tick one to three, third prints. X Factor, X Men, very cool. Punisher, X Men, Robocop. Haha, <laughs> what's up, top? Posters, games, t shirts. Lots more Batmans here, too. Look at that. Arkham Asylum trade paperbacks. Very cool, very cool. Awesome. Fun read, gang. Fun read. And I don't think we did any damage to the book while doing a read. So I would say stays at a 9.4, 9.6. Let's bring back the Mylar. I hope you enjoyed the reading. It was pretty good. And Chris Claremont is always worth reading. Always worth reading. And the trick with reading Chris Claremont is you need to read a few issues together. Uh, back to back. That way... Uh, you get a feel for the story and the characters and uh, how the dialogue flows right fantastic read fantastic read and what we're gonna do incredible comic boy <laughs> I'm gonna do is gonna go back to the live stream and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the reading we got a couple of more readings left in the set uh, aside from that, I'm going to go back to the chat and turn on the notifications and the chat box and the camera. <laughs> Fun. That was a good read. That was a very good read. That was a very good read. I, I spent so long since I read this. It's been so long since I read this. I read this when it first came out. I don't think I've read it since. Cheryl, how you doing? How's life? I ran the poll this time. <laughs> hey, Chicho, I was able to pop in for the last half or so. Now I need to know what happened in the first half. Uh, in the first half, uh, 
basically it was uh, well you, you you can take a look at it once the video is up right but basically it was just uh, Aurora Shadow King going after Aurora right I don't know what the story was I don't know why the Shadow King has such a hate on for Aurora um, I can't remember <laughs> void says on YouTube I'll watch for sure also a important book very important book very very important book and it was you could get it dirt cheap for the longest time for the longest time right and gang don't forget free Assange free Assange free Assange Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital's power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org and check out the information we've shared on our Julian Assange and WikiLeaks playlist on Sensor 2. Fun gang, fun. And we've got one more reading coming up in the set, I believe on Wednesday. And if you're around tomorrow at uh, 10 a.m., we're going to be in the patio. Um, it's nice and sunny. I'm going to go pick up some seedlings today. We pick, picked up some seedlings yesterday. And uh, maybe we'll pot some seedlings. I'm not sure. Maybe just chill in the patio and have some drinks and relax and enjoy the morning a sunday morning uh, and just talk about anything open discussion i'm not sure maybe bring the kitty cats out and let the kitty cats play uh just a chill session live stream tomorrow open discussion and um, we'll see if with platforms uh, we'll definitely upload it to uh, bitchu rumble and odyssey and this stream will definitely be loaded onto sensor tube as well please be monster <laughs> monsters <laughs> please be monsters what do you mean what do you mean fun the kitty cats i put them outside the, this morning in the patio they just love it they get a little bit of sunshine a little bit of playtime chasing bugs and they go to their couch and they sleep fun gang let's call it a stream thank you for being here uh just a quick outro if you want to know what this is about i'm on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you want to follow this work if you want to know what this work is about patreon is a great way to do so for those of you that are supporting this work on patreon gang thank you very much for the support it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this we are live streaming on twitch for the next read actually i like both remaining so i'll be happy yeah me too and gang by the way as far as reading goes i found the uh lois lane uh Su superman's girlfriend lois lane the second part of superman turning into a cat so in the next set of readings the five that we're going to do introduce after we do the next two readings uh, oh i walk with monsters that's what you were mentioning cheryl that's right monsters i walk with monsters uh we'll have that one in there as well uh so elder god is posting it uh, our next stream uh, let's spend spend the morning in the patio open discussion Sunday May 23rd from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Uh, and basically the description is it's springtime it's nice outside let's go outside and have some fun Lois yes yeah the second part I found it I was looking for uh, something I'll show you but I, I found it so super happy super happy about that uh, so we're definitely going to be reading that as well and gang for those of you who are supporting this work on twitch thank you very much for supporting this work mods thank you for taking care of business we do we do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on minds vk gab and parlor and we do have a discord page and you can you're definitely welcome to our come to our discord page and share information and you can come to our twitch channel anytime you would like and type in exclamation mark social and all those links will pop up including our discord page right there okay and for live streams where we don't have any visuals we do upload the audios to soundcloud as podcasts and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and we will be uploading this live stream to youtube bitchute rumble and odyssey and for those of you that are supporting this work on those platforms gang thank you very much for the support i hope you're enjoying the content meow <laughs> gang i hope you have a fantastic saturday and i'll see you guys tomorrow if you can make it and we've got four streams for the next four days so 
should be fun uh, for the next four days we'll see what we do and we got mathematics coming up on Monday as well and current events on Tuesday evening and another comic book reading on Wednesday morning and that's for sale that's for sale awesome gang I hope you have a fantastic Saturday uh, thank you for being here I'll see you guys tomorrow if you can make it bye everyone